Many of you have an issue uh, installing Volatility 3. Volatility 3 in Windows 11 or Windows 10. Especially when you run Windows PS List or Windows NetScan or any of these plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> install uh, volatility tree and demonstrate its work with Windows 11 within Windows 11 let's start <clears throat> to download volatility I will keep uh, the link uh, in the description uh, within the volatility project you need to go to downloads and you will find these two tabs volatility true and volatility a tree we're going to choose volatility tree but listen volatility tree version 1 and it's using python 3 that means before you install or run volatility tree you have to have python 3 installed in your machine uh, to get python 3 if you don't have python 3 you just need to go to python.org download and here is a download python 3 okay download python 3 Download that, install it, it's straightforward, doesn't take uh, long to install, it's depend on your uh, internet speed. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I got uh, a little flu, I think. Uh, let's go back to uh, Volatility 3, and the file we need to download is this one, download the Volatility 3 version 1.00. Uh, let, let me click on that. <clears throat> And this will be downloaded in my um, in my machine. Uh, let me grab it. <clears throat> I have it. Continue. Here is it. In um, it's here. I just download in the C drive. It's volatility three. And then first thing you need to unzip it. Extract. I will extract it uh, in my sh machine here, Volatility 3. Uh, I think there is another one here. I don't know why there is two, but let me just make it like this. I think because already before I done the video, I tried to download it uh, before. Okay, a Volatility 3, and this will be extracted to your uh, C drive for my in my case. In just seconds okay depend on your computer speed and once once it's extracted uh, you will find in C drive volatility 3 double click on it and then double click again you will find volatility.python or volatility.py but remember <clears throat> before we run volatility as I said you need to have Python let's run volatility using PowerShell. Just type PowerShell <clears throat> and run your PowerShell. Uh, you can type like what you do in Linux CD and go straight away to where my volatility is saved and hit enter. LS and we can find volatility.py and what you need to type is Python python.exe or sometimes just py okay or sometimes just py and volatility uh, dot py and hit enter and this confirmed to us uh, volatility is installed in your machine but however wait this is the tricky thing okay this is the tricky thing <clears throat> when you try to run volatility on Windows machine to analyze Windows machine it will not all of plugins will not run if we go back to volatility website to volatility website and there is nothing said here about plugins for windows i went to <clears throat> i went to their project uh, in github go to volatility i will keep the link also in the description volatility tree go down <coughs> go down and then they mention here symbol table okay symbol table you need if you 
analyze you're going to analyze windows memory dump you need to uh, download uh, this windows file okay and save it on volatility, uh, volatility tree symbols download it i think it's uh, um, 800 uh, gigabyte already i have it in my machine download it and then uh, let me find it <clears throat> here is it it's 800 megabyte uh, 800 megabyte uh, copy this one into uh, the folder called volatility tree volatility inside volatility tree volatility tree volatility tree three times and then I think in the symbol okay let me go back and they send the symbols just copy it here and that's it don't do anything okay you don't do you don't need to do anything for now I'm going to analyze memory dump okay I'm going if you need to create memory dump it's easy you can uh, use FTK measure use FTK measure uh, I will show you right now very quickly how to create memory dump okay just click file and then capture memory and then just uh, uh, type the destination where you need to save it and then click on capture by doing this one you are going to capture a memory dump a copy you are going to create a copy of your uh, RAM okay I'm not going to do that because already I have uh, a copy of memory dump if you if you need to know how you can go to another videos in my channel to show you how to create a memory dump using FTK measure and other tools and how you can analyze <clears throat> and how you can analyze um, these memory dumps and how you can find passwords and network connections and so on let's get to volatility again oh let me save uh, the memory dump uh, here in volatility tree okay let me save it here memory dumps five uh, as we said uh, now let me run uh, the volatility again uh, we have uh, uh, we just type python volatility.py and then uh, that um, <clears throat> minus f or dash f and then the file location the memory dump file location this is the memory dump i will go just copy and go paste and then slash uh, the memory dump called memory dump dot ame okay this is the file okay then with windows uh, with volatility is different than volatility too okay it's easier okay windows when those then info it's the first plugin I'm going to use okay and if I hit uh, run it runs okay it runs if let's try um, PS list but before I, I run PS list what you can find here uh, this memory dump is from Windows 7 okay you can you can generate from Windows 10 you can generate from any other uh, <clears throat> any other um, memory I think I got um, okay, pass ping um, just let me find maybe I yeah I don't have another memory dump but try it yourself it should work okay I would Windows 10 and Windows 11 if I do PS list it may work and may not okay but here is it it works it works PS list it works let's try another one net scan net scan and it works okay all <clears throat> all the plugins they should work okay all the plugins they should work because already already we have the simple table that copy of the, the large file the 800 uh, megabyte file we saved on the volatility tree symbols and windows uh, this is the location from where uh, uh, from where <clears throat> uh, volatility tree can access uh, json files okay can access json files by following my step i am 100 percent sure that it should work with you and very easy and simple uh, setup